everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Courtney and today I'm actually going to start my crafting podcast and I'm really excited I have filmed a couple of videos already recently discussing my crafting projects and I will probably label them videos one and two maybe three actually I think I have three uh, and I will probably label them as part of this podcast but I've actually just now decided that I will turn this into kind of a podcast thing. I really do like sitting here with you guys and chatting about yarn. So we'll see what happens. I also quilt, I crochet, I knit, I sometimes even embroider or cross stitch, though that's rare. Um, I like trying out all different things crafty, so we'll see what happens with these. But I'm just going to jump right into it. In my last video about my New York City yarn haul, I will link it above in the card, I mentioned my Weasley sweater. So I put it on for this video. I actually just got through filming that video, so uh, it's the same day, but I changed my sweater to show you. This is my Weasley sweater. It's meant to look a little homemade from Harry Potter. Uh, I didn't do the gauge properly. This is my first sweater make, so it's kind of really oversized, but... It's cozy and the sea is giant and I love it. <laughs> it's made out of this really, really lovely wool from, where did I get this wool? I think I got this wool from Knit Picks and it's really, really beautiful. I will link both colors that I use down below and I really love how it turned out. Come on, honey. So yeah, just wanted to show you that sweater. I made this sweater, I think I finished it after Christmas around that time this year. I remember making it over Christmas. So yeah, firstly, I'm going to jump right in to show you the projects that I have completed since the last video I filmed about my socks. And yeah, so the first one I believe that I completed, I was working on while I filmed that video. It is this hat. <laughs> and this hat is actually Hermione's hat. Um, again, from Harry Potter. I have a Harry Potter obsession, clearly. Um, yeah, I finished it up that day, I think, that I filmed that video, but it's just so cute. I love how this hat turned out. Um, I can't actually remember if I featured it in my last video or not, but it's a little bit looser than her hat, but I still love how it turned out. I knitted this out of this Cascade Yarns Eco Alpaca 100% Undyed Baby Alpaca Yarn. I picked this up at some random bookstore in Chattanooga. Um, I do not recommend this yarn. I might have gotten like a weird batch because it was at some random weird little bookstore, um, but I do have a little bit left. And there were just ribs all in this yarn ball, so I don't recommend it. But um, it made a cute hat and I like it and it's really soft. So yeah, there's that. So while I was in New York City traveling to and from at the airport. I actually cast on and knit most of a pair of socks. I finished it a couple days after our trip. But it's these really cute socks. Um, they're just vanilla plain socks, but I really like them. I knitted them toe up and I did a contrasting cuff toe and a heel. And I really, really like how it turned out. I think they're super cute. I actually showed this yarn in, um, a previous video. It is, let's see, it's the Machete Shop yarn in the colorway Grandmother Willow. This is yarn that I picked up when I was in Atlanta. Um, I don't tr travel a whole, whole lot. I mean, I guess I do, but uh, that's when I buy yarn is when I travel. So all this yarn is from random different cities, but um, I knit it with that yarn. And then I also knit it with the Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn from Knit Picks. This is another ball in a different colorway. The color I used is Rainstorm Heather. This is just the bag of what I have left. Um, but I really did like that Knit Picks yarn and I bought it in several different colorways. I will show you that a bit in the yarn I've acquired <laughs> section. Um, but I love how these socks turned out. They're a little bit short for me, um, but they do stretch and that's okay. I uh, really like how they turned out. I think they're super cute. And I will say that I do not have any sock blockers yet. I know that's something I need to acquire. I will do that shortly and then I will have to maybe film a video of me blocking all of my socks because they, none of them are blocked. <laughs> um, yeah, 
So finish number two. So in my New York City yarn haul video, I showed you this mallard yarn. It's called Simply Sock Mallard, and this is what I have left. Uh, this kind of camo green and brown colored yarn. I, I keep my remainders in these uh, Ziplocs. I have been knitting socks two at a time. That's why I have two balls in all of my leftover yarn. Um, but this actually was not socks. I made mittens. <laughs> They are so, so cute. Um, I followed Arn Arnie or Arn and Carlos, their free pattern for knitted mittens. And I followed it to the T aside from, I found that theirs were quite pointy. So I just ended the decreases a little bit early um, and used the Kitchener stitch to close it. But I think these are super cute. I'll put them on. Uh, they're a little bit big for me because these are for my husband but they're so cute. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to actually line these with some merino wool or something. We have a lot of old sweaters that uh, we got from thrift stores years ago that I've been cutting up and using in projects for his hunting and stuff. So I'm probably going to line that with some merino wool, but I love how these turned out when the mittens were actually super fun to make. I used double pointed needles and um, it turned out really nicely. I'm really happy with it. Uh, and this yarn did knit up in like a camo fashion. I think it looks really nice. So that is finish number three. So while in New York City, I was able to go to the Harry Potter store. Yeah, I'm mentioning Harry Potter a lot, sorry. I was able to go to the brand new Harry Potter store. I think it was the weekend or the weekend after they had just opened up Harry Potter New York City. And I've been wanting this Harry Potter knitting magic book um, for a long time. I just... I don't like ordering books online and having to wait for them to come in. So I was just waiting for an opportunity to buy it and I bought it while I was there. And there's so many cute little projects. I would definitely be making more, but I was looking for something to start one night while I was just sitting there watching TV with my husband. And I really liked this pattern. So these are the seven Horcruxes washcloths. <laughs> um, there's three here and four here. I just made one washcloth, but it was super, super cute. Um, I figured I'll probably end up making the rest of them, but if not, I made the best one, the Harry Potter one. <laughs> so uh, I hope you can see uh, it's made just with simple knits and pearls uh, to use the, to show the pattern. So it's little glasses with this lightning scar and it's turned out a lot bigger than I thought. It would. I used Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn to knit this, and it was just a quick knit. I made it in a couple nights um, and a little bit of knitting at lunch while I was at work. And I think it's super cute. Again, I've not blocked it. Um, I don't know if I will because it's a dishcloth. Probably will. Um, but yeah, I thought it was super cute. So that is all of the projects that I have finished since the last video I showed you. I have one in progress that I will show you now. I have it here in this bowl. It is these little striped socks. I'm actually knitting these cuff down, or cuff up. I don't know which way is down or up with socks. Um, these I think I'm knitting cuff down. Um, and I am knitting them helically, which is striped. Sorry if you can hear the dog scratching. Um, it's so, so cute. I love the stripes. Again, I'm using that Stroll yarn from Knit Picks. And this one is in the color. Let me, let me go see. I have my little project bag that I take with me on the go. The color of that stroll yarn is, oh, it's just navy. <laughs> um, it's just navy yarn. And I really, really love that navy blue color. And I'm actually using the rest of the yarn from, this is my first like fancy ball of yarn that I bought in East Tennessee or Middle Tennessee somewhere. Um, it is Unidled Hands yarn in the color Fresh Herbs. Um, I will link the yarn store down below as well. Really, really cute little store. And I only bought the one ball of yarn, but I'm sure I'll be able to go again. Um, so yeah, I'm using those two and I have made a pair of socks with that yarn already, but I think it goes really well with this navy and um, it's gonna be a little short. I've already knit the heel on these. I'm doing two at a time again, Magic Loop. And it's just a simple, again, simple vanilla sock, but I'm doing a helical pattern, which is a new experience for me. 
um, and it's just like a constant stripe and I really really like how it's turning out. Um, I will be making a lot more striped socks. Maybe not two at a time because the yarn gets ridiculously tangled, which I knew was going to be a problem, but I know myself too much to know to try to knit socks one at a time <laughs> too often. Okay, so now it is yarn acquisitions, yarn haul time. I picked up a lot of yarn since the last video. I think I filmed the last video about a month or so ago. Um, and I actually acquired all the yarn from New York City during that time. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog messing with her dog bed. Um, I acquired all that yarn from New York City during that time, and I also got a little bit more yarn. I'm kind of going yarn crazy at the moment, but it's fine. It's fun. <laughs> so I got five balls of solids from Knit Picks because I knew that with all these socks I'm making, I'm having a lot of more yarn left over. So I picked it up in a few colorways. Um, these are the three I have left that I haven't used yet. I have already shown you the other two. So there were two shades of blue, navy and teal. And then I also got this Midnight Heather. Um, <laughs> whoop, Holly Berry. And Treasure. Which is this really pretty mustard and maroon color. And then this Midnight Heather is like a dark, dark, teal with a little bit of black in it. Um, it leans kind of blue as well. But I knew that I would need these to um, supplement the yarn that I already have and make different looking socks than the ones I already have because those balls of yarn can make more than one pair of socks, but I don't want to be bored by making two identical pairs of socks. So yeah, I got these and I really, really, really like this fingering weight yarn and I think having some solids to mix and match with my hand dyed yarns is a good thing. So I picked those up and then I also picked up some stuff for Sock Week. If you don't know what Sock Week is, uh, Nitty Natty here on YouTube does Sock Week coinciding with Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. So that's super cool, super exciting. Uh, I don't have cable so I don't watch uh, Shark Week anymore. I did when I was a kid but I picked up several things for Shark Week. <laughs> Uh, this will be my first year participating, so I'm really excited. I picked up the zip pouch. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I didn't even read the dimensions. I just bought it. But uh, it says Sock Week 2021. Um, I will link all of the Sock Week things in the description box below if they're still available. Um, but yeah, I picked this up and I have my stuff ready for Sock Week. Sock Week, I think, is next week. It starts this coming weekend but I'm so excited for it. So uh, by the time this video goes up, Sock Week might have already happened, but if not, I'm, you, should, you should go participate. Um, so I picked up some yarn for Sock Week from Yarn O'Clock in the colorway Sharks in the Water. I have already rolled this into balls to be able to knit my socks um, because I wanted to be ready for Sock Week. And I haven't cast on yet because you're not supposed to, so I haven't. But I uh, rolled these up. I hand roll my yarn. I don't have a Swift or a yarn caker. I don't know what those are called yet. But um, it's this really bright blue and a dark red. So it's like sharp blood in the water. <laughs> Which I think is so cool. I think it's really cute. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to knit two at a time or one at a time. You only have to finish one sock in sock week. And I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to try a more complicated pattern and just do one sock or a more difficult pattern, sorry, or an easier pattern and just do two at a time of vanilla socks. So we'll see. I'm considering doing this um, kind of like a fish scale pattern. I'll link the pattern down below. I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, but if I do that, I will only be doing one sock. So we'll see. I don't know if I should be overly ambitious for my first shark sock week. <laughs> So with that in mind, I also bought another yarn that I think was kind of uh, exclusive for Shark Week and it might still be available. This is a self-striping yarn. I actually bought this before we went to New York City. Um, so this is the first self-striping yarn a ball that I picked up. It's from Tia's Terrific Threads. This colorway is Tie-Dye Dragon. I actually don't know if this was specifically for Sock Week or not. Um, 
but she had something specifically for sock week but this is the colorway that i liked i thought it was really bright a little bit out of my comfort zone and just it's beautiful the way she just rolled this ball of yarn um yeah so i'm excited to get to use that it is 75 25 superwash merino and nylon really pretty fingering white yarn so that is all of my yarn acquisitions oh i actually forgot to mention my dog just played with this but uh with that shark week yarn they sent me over this little cotton candy colored sample and it was literally just so beautiful and wound up um until the dog got a hold of it so <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna fix this after the video but i thought that was really cute a little i think it's like 10 grams but the last thing i picked up for sock week shark week are these little stitch markers I can get them out of the bag here but it's a little shark and then just a little pretty blue uh, with some little sparkles on it uh, little stitch markers I love them I think they're so cute and I'm really diving in to sock week shark week I actually also have a tote bag on the way of with the sock week logo on it I just don't have it yet um, but I will be using that. I don't have any black tote bags, so I'm excited that I will finally have one and it'll be reminiscent of Sock Week 2021. All right, everyone, I think I have covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. I know there was a lot. I don't know how often I'll be filming these yarn or other fabric discussions, um, but yeah, I think that I will just play by ear, see how it goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to, that would be great. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm just dealing with the mess that is this cotton candy little sample. It's a really, really cute fingering white yarn. I just, my dog got a hold of it. In two seconds, she turned it into a little bit of a mess. But if I'm patient, I can get this untangled. <laughs>